This is the real deal. We've created the ultimate metal poster for Apex collectors, ultra-sized.
Good morning. I gotta turn this music down in my ear. It's so loud. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good night. Wherever you may be in this world. I am your host. And the captain of this ship. Galaxy. Oh boy. Strap in. Because I'm about to take you on a wild adventure. <laughs> Why isn't my light turning on? Hold on. Why did my... <laughs> Is it not plugged in? But it's not plugged in. Hold up. I'm having difficulties. I don't think I plugged this light in. I think it's stuck somewhere. No, nope, it's plugged in. I see the gray cable. Uh, what the hell is this thing stuck on? Hold up, bear with me. I'm having difficulties, as always. Where's that cord? Where's this bitch? Okay. Let's try this again, and if it doesn't light up, then uh, I have another cord, then I guess I could plug in. Okay. <laughs> Different cord. Again, it could be just a slight, like, who knows? This little cheapy little, little light. Oh, no. It was just the cord. Cool. It might be just the cord. Listen, bitch. <laughs> it was on for, like, a solid second. Okay. I see. appears to be a little broken in there which is never good god damn it all right well i guess that means i gotta get a new freaking light now Okay. Don't. Oh, God damn it. I 
All right. Yeah. No, I got to look for another light now. Oh, great. I'll tell you what. My buying excursions right now are not great. <laughs> I've got to buy a new bed frame. My fucking one that I got right now is breaking. And I don't understand why. <laughs> Like, at the end of it, you can see where it's leaning, like, so fucking bad. And I don't, I just don't understand why. So, um, yeah. My bed could fall at any minute, which is interesting. So I'm looking for a new fucking bed frame. Uh, and then... Now I gotta buy a light. And then I also gotta buy, like, $200 worth of <laughs> food here soon. <laughs> Oh, we live in the expensive life, as you can see. Not by choice. <laughs> Not by choice. Oh, man. Let me go ahead and pause this music because holy fucking shit. Alright. So, how is everyone doing today? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing alright. I'm very sleepy right now. I was on a call with a friend last night until almost 5 o'clock in the morning, so Ugh, we're tired. <laughs> we're very tired. But it's okay. You know, it's okay. That just means I get to hang out with y'all today. Because today's my day off. And I am glad. So steepy. Alright. Why don't we go ahead and get this game up? Just because... Yeah. I can't find my frigging controller. Which is really annoying. Because I was going to play with the controller. Just because that's easier for me. I'm used to those controls and uh, PC controls. But, you know, it is what it is. So let me go ahead and get that set up. Yes. I can open it. Alright, I need to hold up real quick. Control up delete. I need to close out this window that will not close for the fucking life of me. End task bitch. There we go. Alright, launch this. Just thinking about it. There we go. There we go, the old pile. Can you hi? <laughs> Did it crash? No, it didn't crash. Okay. Uh, properties. None of those. What the fuck? On a minute. Seriously. Hello, hello. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on multi stream. Hold up. I'd be paying for that later. Not literally, but figuratively. Figuratively. Alright, let me <laughs> do something real quick. Because I thought I was all logged in.
Aha! Alright. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, the game that is way too fucking big for anything and everything because it updates way too fucking much. Yep, that one. <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> what is it gonna download? I looked up for one second. I looked down for one second. I only played it for the first time when it came out and never again. <laughs> Understandable. do a day where we just sit down and fucking I show y'all my, my favorite TikToks because these shits are funny as fuck. Ain't got no right being this damn funny. Yo, I just oops, just on my left here. That's kind of weird. Am I? Interesting. Uh, let's see. The properties and it gets in there. Whoops. Oh shit. Mm. No clue. I'm like, I need to get like a mouse pad or something. <laughs> no, I think it's for Mike. The way you oh, you know what? I know what it is. Let me zip in. Maybe it's sad. <laughs> Did I? Oh, yeah, I think I restarted it. Okay. Because of the. Damn it! Fucking crab. Because I think the first time I, I played it, it was really, like, laggy and shit because of the beginning scene. So.
Fairly easy to remember. Damn it! The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for, exactly? Uh, your mom. I saw the seven. over the world among the seven gods this god controls the wind Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first and there's a reason why Alrighty. as we all know poetry and language flow like the wind There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's ah! what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of walking in this game. <laughs> All you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal. So perhaps because you got power from the god of animal, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. What the fuck?
as you got from the statue of the seven. Oh, oh yeah. Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting power? <laughs> Cause you're still Paimon. And you're short. from this world? <laughs> no bitchy <you> region. <laughs> wow, what is that? There's something huge in the sky! It's headed towards the heart of the forest! We must proceed with caution. On the road. Why is there a chest out here? It's really, it might have been those barrels, honestly. I'll speak that. There's a little chest. I'll keep this close. this camp. <laughs> well, no, hold on. Let's see another box. All the food mixed up with it later. Maybe not all the food, but damn near close enough. <laughs> Alright, where's my objective again? I am stupid. Overwork yourself. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? Hmm. 
It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. <sighs> of course not. Oh, what's that? Hold on, I gotta turn hand tracking up. This is <laughs> aggravating. Shiny red thingy on the big rock. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. All right. This way. Butterfly. No! Damn it. <laughs> There's a chest up here. Hold up, wait. Answer from this world? That's where we get tacked. <laughs> hey, you! Stop right there! Not quite, but close enough. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And of course not. Map <laughs> What's the deal with it? Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot. <laughs> so to sum it up, you're. She's a majesty good. Right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies. Uh, so I didn't even read it. I just clicked it. Respectable <laughs> Oops. That sounded so fake. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Yes, we do actually. Thank you. Outrider Amber reporting for duty. Just say the word if you ever need my help. I know. Oh, I don't like that. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Quick, get it!
Ay, me voy a eso, güey. Ah, oh, bitch, where are you stuck? Okay. Get this. Add him. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Oh, well, I was supposed to switch to her. Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the knights... So these annoying creatures... Exactly. That said, clearing this camp... Help come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Interesting. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. My fucking wood. There's one over there. Fine. We'll just go on that and then we'll your god damn it. Go straight. Venture on further later. What's that? It smells so good. What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? Happen to be passing by. I see. Welcome, travelers. 
Are you travelers passing here as well? No. Well, welcome travelers anyway. <laughs> I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. As you can eat before you go, the first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics. My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. No, no, no. This one. Bingo. Is it done? Mm, smells good. Let me try. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Uh, uh oh. Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! <laughs> Why was that? Oh. I was gonna say, why the fuck was that on fire? But never mind. It makes sense. I was standing next to a fire. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Pavonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. That just sounds pretty damn good. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. Like 
running. Okay, what the fuck you want me to do? Over there. Come on, let's take a look. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> I can't do it. Enter? And where is it? Uh-huh. Shit. I need to look up controls because this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh <laughs> Oh my god, 
I'm not getting stuck. Okay. No, I don't know where my controller is. It is not good. Christine, I need a green. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. Shut up. Range over there. Come on, let's take a look. Bitch, I wish I could. Hold on. We're gonna control alt delete and then we're just gonna we're gonna close out the, the the thing. Because I don't know what to do. I don't have any control of getting that to go away. So it's okay. Where'd I do that? <laughs> The crap. Y'all heard that, right? That wrestling sound? I don't know what that was. I don't know what was moving. I don't like it. It's not going to do that thing again because I literally don't know what to do. Okay. A bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there, they haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Experience a whole new world of drinking with the cat tails bartender Diana. No. 
Hmm. We're not gonna read the details just because, yeah. I feel like Jean will be. Hey, there's something strange. It's free. Oh, wow. If all this breeze. I love this kind of weather. Morning. Can I? It's get agreed. Getting rest is a set. My room. The view from the cathedral. Look, I'm a pr Baron Bunny. Today is another. Oh. I can. Jean makes the most amazing. <sighs> I'm just. Get him. Go, go, Baron. No one. Let it rain. I'll race you there. No one. <laughs> Bet you. <sighs> That's more like it. Get ready. I won't open. Another target track. Uh, wow, these will come in hand out. Uh, hey, hey, tired. I feel like sometimes with some of these, like, um, so hard. Leave it to me. these kind of audio clips, <laughs> you gotta be careful which ones you play so it just sounds like straight up fucking moaning and it's just it's not great at all. It's not at the ready. Story. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've heard that if you give tavern owners a considerable cider, ah, uh, cider lake never freezes. Uh, so here, if you want, I've heard that it's time. I'm <laughs> just trying to get rid of all these like little notifications being like, hey, you've got this stuff. A reward on the road. Look out, bombs are wet. This just what will maybe I wasn't this warm. There's still a long road ahead. Hmm. Okay. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. Okay. Now get out of the wall. Now get off the wall. So if I, uh huh, see, okay. No, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Hmm. We're just going to choose something. Ooh. 
That's pretty. What did we get in the mail? Let's do claim all because <laughs> I really don't feel like going through all of these. So, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's <laughs> because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Yep, we're great. Who knew that she would need her <laughs> glider so fucking early? Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. This is so much easier to do on a PC than it is on the controller.
Kind of hot. <laughs> Are you a new ally or a new storm? Storm terror. Maybe a bit of both. Monster itself. Kaya, traveler, you've come at the right time. Hold on, Amber. Uh, smash. Are you perhaps? Oh, great. <laughs> this is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar. Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short. I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the animal god. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. to the other girl though like can I get this to you know okay See, and we'll do her. I'm trying to make this as even as I possibly can. So we'll just do and then her will do this. Okay. Knights of Pavonia's headquarters. Let's head in. Here we go. Teen, what's 
the hurry. I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mom's right. not welcome to you, Windborn Travelers. <laughs> I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? I know many men that would be like, smash to this one. <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. Paimon will help too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Hmm. up with me uh, I should warn you though I don't slow down for anyone greenhorn or otherwise let's all do our best to defeat want to team up with me let's all do our best to defeat you're not bad with that wind glider your gliding style seems familiar my eye patch want to hear my story eh I didn't have time to introduce myself properly. Uh, well, it wasn't on my mind to begin with. He seems cool. <laughs> my apologies. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. We can talk more after we get things sorted. I know a great place more fit for a chat. Mm. Hey, yo. You're not bad with that wind glider. The Grand Master is currently off leading an expedition, so the Master, Jean, has stepped in to oversee the Knights while he's gone. Hence, you'll hear many refer to her as the Acting Grand Master. When the Grand Master left, he took the vast majority of our Knights with him, leaving the Acting Grand Master with far more responsibility and stress. Come to think of it, it must have been difficult for Jean. Hmm. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? 
We need people to oh, we need people for doing we just need more people. <laughs> A way to fight against storm terror? I'm sorry. But there's no way to do it alone. Judging by the level of its animal power, it's definitely not an ordinary creature. I could teach you some elemental basics, so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. Change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Pavonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Pavonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. I am like falling asleep over here. This is this is rough. I heard you and Outrider Amber had a misunderstanding. <laughs> Please forgive her. She was just doing her job. Talk to Amber sometime. I'm sure you'll like how energetic she always is. Just like a fucking rabbit. Wanna team up with me? Huh. I should warn you though. I don't slow down for anyone. Green with Jean by our side, nothing can stand in our way. But I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. I really hope that one day, I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore, because we have her back. Wanna team up with me? Huh. I should warn you though, I don't- As a novice within the Knights of Favonius, your understanding of the wind is absolutely crucial. Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. Alrighty. I'm going to steal your books. All right. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. <sighs> Jesus. Damn it. Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All, all you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. Oops. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back, and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short temp. Hmm. 
What are you going to find shelter? Shelter? It'd take a much bigger store than this to keep me away from my blacksmiths. The rot, rot iron here spends all day getting hammered into shape. People, on the other hand, don't get that chance as often, so make the most of it. I'd like to ask about something. Ow. Tell me about yourself. There are no qualified blacksmiths here, except for me and my apprentice, Schultz. I can tell from the experience that hard work is all there is to the crowd. God damn it. Many other blacksmiths out there are just out to make a quick mora. Family, inheritance, meaningless. I only need an apprentice to pass on my skills. I'd like to ask something. Stupid question. If you really want to know, buy something. Talk is cheap. Pick up a blade and you'll soon know. Even if this much excludes you, then you got a long road ahead if you run. Okay. Let's go get some ores. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Okay. I'm at the hold up room just, just a minute. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to grab me something to wake the fuck up. Um, because <laughs> we're only like almost two hours in and I'm over here falling asleep. Granted, I did stay up till almost five o'clock in the morning again with my friend waking up at eight to start stream, but Jesus Christ, dude. All right, I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back, and I got me some coffee. You hear it? <laughs> Ready? Oh, hopefully it doesn't fucking explode on me. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not frozen, is it? I mean, not that I'm opposed to it being frozen, because I feel like that'd be kind of good. Little, little coffee slushy. Mmm. Sounds pretty good. Don't I have a cup holder on this thing? Maybe. No, not really. Okay. I got me a new little table thingy. <laughs> so that way... It's just another little step that makes it a little easier when I stream. Because I don't have a room for like a desk or whatnot. So, um, you know, we work with what we got. So I got me a little table, little TV dinner desk kind of thing for your bed. And that's what I use. Put my laptop on there. Put all my stream gear up there. It's fun. That probably needs a new wax thing in there. But it's fine. Okay. Let's get a move on. Maybe. Hold on. How do I... Hold on. Is it B? No. What was it? Okay, you can have this. Like, honestly... Okay, character details, and I go to weapons. Hey, listen. What was it, this one? There you go, yeah, you can have that. And then I need, was it G? No. This. Achievements! Eight of oh, wait. Let's go. Okay, okay, new character. Awesome. I'm probably not gonna get it, but we're gonna wish on this one. Can we yeah, can we skip this? I don't Should, you know, we're gonna save our wishes. I was gonna use them, but like, you know, we'll, we'll save them. We'll save them. Yeah. I kinda want these characters here. She's fucking adorable. Look at her. I like a some. You know, do y'all ever like look at some of these characters and be like. Okay, if I was to do a cosplay, right, who in these characters I would do? I would do this motherfucker. She's adorable. I love her. She's got a little basket with a little rabbit in it and stuff. That's so fucking cute. There was another character I saw. It's not in here, though. I don't, oh, I don't know. It might be in Genshin. I'm not sure where exactly, though. But, um, see, I would also do her. She's super cute. 
I love her. Um, but it was like this cat girl. Like she looked a lot like her, a lot like her. It wasn't her though. She was wearing like I think all red or something. Anyway, super cute. I'm like, yeah, that's the one. That's the one I would uh. What the hell? I would do. I don't have any of those blockers. It's fine. Let's go! I actually kind of want to pull my table closer just because we're about to get into it. I need to go buy me some more coffee and some more monsters. I had monsters at my uh, refrigerator. But I don't know what fucking happened to them. I think somebody fucking either threw them away or drunk them. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it makes me sad. Oh, shit. Noelle, you're gonna die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. She's fine. She's fine. You can use that console to open the door. Let's go. Wow, I can Okay. What's no will do? What's her big ass sword? That's what the fuck she does. I'm gonna loot the fuck out of this place. All right. Damn, Noel. No, I don't think we need to use your Baron Buddy, baby. I think I think No Will's got it all. Look at this shit. Damn, girl. Big ass sword.
Okay. Are those explosive barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. There's something up there. But how do we get across? Oh, isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Dragon's breath. Is that where the power is coming from? Great. Let's smash it. Smash. Phew. I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. Right. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with storm terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier. If you want to learn more about our history, mm -hmm. you can ask Lisa. Right. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just you don't know our history. I mean. The librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Mm hmm Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh shit. Some big ass birds. Where the fuck? Hold on. We're going over here. <laughs> Maid would. 
Damn, okay. Well. Let's see. Okay. This is Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Wind Rise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. It's a statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Oh yeah. That's what's up. I did this one because it's like the closest. <laughs> That did, but can you feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animacula. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Into their Some eyes, what the fuck? The statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animacula never had a physical form from the start. Mm, we'll read hers just because they don't really tell us anything about her. At least not yet. <laughs> um, how do I? Okay, yeah, 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 right here. Okay, you're at least level nine now. <laughs> People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so keep offering animaculae and maybe you'll receive more blessings. No stone unturned. Okay. No, we're not fighting that shit. I, I hate that. Oh, I see. Can we climb this? We're gonna try it. We did it! Okay. Is up there. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Because this one. Oh, no, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. No, I don't want to do that! Cleaning. 
Okay. Mm, I don't want Saito. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Wow, I haven't had any flannel, flip flannel contact in ages. Flannel contact. My name is Chloris. I'm the best botanist in Monastat. I spend all my days in the wild among the flora, fauna, and the other. On the other hand, what are some, wait, among the flora, fauna on the other hand are somewhat lacking in life. What's that? You see that shit in the back? Who's that? It's walking this way. Is that a, oh! Is that a fox? That's so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. So what about your family? You know I know my little sister, Flora. All she cares about is flowers. She runs a flower shop in the city. I'm much more open-minded than she is. I care about all plants, especially strange new ones. I guess I'm the older one. After all, I do think Flora really could do better if she pushed herself. What kind of plants you got? Mm, okay. Oh, you got snapdragons? How oh, nice. I'm gonna pass on your plants, though. Because cause I don't really... There's a big-ass slime! Hmm. She must be cold now because... Okay. Where are we going? Ooh, ooh, no, no. No! <laughs> there okay pine cone we don't need a pine cone Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Ooh, wonder. 
Kaya. How's it going? You've arrived. I have. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. <laughs> okay. Ah! It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an. Let's head in. Oops. My bad. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. come along and then not actually come along are you actually gonna join me this time let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries oh yeah hmm if I'm not mistaken the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Ah, right. God damn it. Exactly, is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. Two more barrels, and then we can move on. Hold up. Let me climb the wall. There's something up there. Please. There's a chest up there. Or, no, that's a box. Never mind. Did he just do? Ah, finally, we're here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up.
Two more. <laughs> Maybe we add this one. And then this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool it. Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting Grand Master about it. To my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you uh, just fought no. were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you Ooh, have the shit, time. Oh shit, Dr. Manek. Jesus. I also know a lovely tavern. If that's more your thing. Mm. Listen. Stop it. <laughs> Quite rewarding. No? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. There's no way hilly churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> These fuckers. Thus you were behind this. Ooh! Shit! He didn't even flinch, is a crazy thing. He's just like, yeah, go at it. Knights of Pophonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Kaya, Knight of Pophonius, <laughs> please allow me to join you on your journey. Guarding you on your journey sounds far more entertaining than any of the usual Favonius stuff. Oh yeah. Pretty boy with me, I said. Pretty boy? Me? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty boy. Me? <laughs> There's literally nothing out here. Okay. Okay. And then 
and I can get that one, whoever. Oh, you can have that one. Um, yeah, this one kind of matches them. Actually, hang on. I do want to go in here and maybe switch the weapon. Let's switch it. And then go back. We're going to go to him. Weapon, switch. We have from uh, a three as well. Ooh, yeah, that 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 fits him quite nicely, actually. <laughs> Weapon switch. Do I have any? Oh yes, I do. Switch it with this one. Alrighty. We got nice. Who? What? You? What even are you? that thing was there's a thing up there oh wait I know I know I know I know I know Remember if I got all of them though, that's the only thing. Aha. Uh -huh. One right behind it. Okay. Okay. Bitch. Keep this close. Okay. 
couple more chests back here. Let's see what we got. I think there was one over here as well. No, there wasn't. Okay, just over there. Take that. How far are we going? What is that? It looked like a beached whale. What the fuck? It's up on the hill. Some long ass hike up a hill. How much higher did I go? All the way. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to fight. I just want to get to the objective. Cutie, you're going to I... me out too. How kind of you! Can you not? Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's basically what she says. She doesn't do shit. Oh, cut. We're back. Mm. No, I'll keep them. We can use them. Even though he's only like level two. What the fuck he's moving? I guess I could give this a go. 
You guess. Bitch, you better know. I need confidence here, not non-confidence. Elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Let's ride this wind current, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, Paimon, I cut you off. Leave it to me. <laughs> Come a little closer. It's an electro monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Did it. <laughs> I'm telling you now, I don't like using Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Bobisa, and then I'm a Bobisa. Lisa. Another wind current. Damn it. <laughs> Where the fuck I got other in here? Hmm. 
I'm glad I don't have to do that all over again. The fucking wings, bitch! Fine, we won't do her then. You're... Right. Stop hitting. can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused yeah. by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> Come a little closer. Oh, you want to know ah! what this gem? Motherfucker. We go all the way back again, dude. Okay, I was about to say, bro, that's not cool. Never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Oh, she died. Okay. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Anima. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. <sighs> so now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. 
Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. But why would one of the four winds... ...hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Okay. Nothing else in here? Cool. Let's go. Three buildings now? Don't worry, darling. I'll take very good care of you. So Ooh, it's finally done. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Hopefully. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come to you. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Hmm, yes, indeed. Okay. No, I like my party, thank you. I wonder if we can go in and like sell some of these because or or take them and um use them to make better weapons like five star weapons or something you know ooh shit what is this okay let's open mini maps let's see what do we got Okay. Fucking Henry, dude. Ah! And teleport here. We go here. We're gonna click navigate here. Okay. And we're gonna go there. It should be this way. I think I see the little thing over there. Should I go fake them up? Hmm. 
That's okay. I'm not worried about it right now. Oh shit. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Weapon stuff. What's that? It's big and pink. What is it? Ooh. Oh, you. Okay, so I'm taking damage from that. Ooh, I see it. Okay. Dude, how far are you gonna take me? I see it. <laughs> Quite the fine. Okay, now I gotta backtrack all the way back over there. Okay, I see you. Just how do I get to you? That's the question. There's a thing here. I could get up there and I think maybe glide over there. Okay. We're gonna try it. I don't know if I'd even make that. Oh. 
Oh, bad bitch. Catch the wind. I'm gonna fall. No. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, you know why? Because you're level fucking 13. No fuck out of here. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Where is it? Let's see if we can get at least somewhat close. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> I flew to the wrong spot. We're gonna get on top of that thing. I now I know where not to go. Right. Right. I could probably take those guys on. I just don't want to.
Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. <laughs> okay. Is it here? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're here now. <laughs> here we go. Wonderful. All right. Let's get on the mini map and like look for this. <laughs> Okay, let's go here, I think, because there's a chest over here as well, so um, we'll go here. Right, can I make it? An offering? Okay, so it, it uh, increases your stamina. And maybe your health, which is nice. Okay. What are you? What are you? Ooh, it's gone now. Assuming there's a water and a wind one around here somewhere, right? Okay, there's frost. So we'll stand up here and no, we'll go down here. Okay. No, we're going to switch oh, you just for a sec. Shut up. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. There we go. No, <laughs> he's running. Okay. Okay. That's not what I want to do. Uh, that's not what I want to do either, but it's fine.
There you go. All right, let's read her profile. So what's your story, love? Noelle has a much greater dreams and in the ambitions than other maids in the Knights of Fabodius. Like anyone else in the city, protected by the Knights of Fabodius, she too dreams of donning the honored armor. Even if her skills are not enough to pass the rigorous selection trials, she still wishes to observe and learn from them every chance she gets. Aside from her training, she enjoys her current life, helping everyone in need. You can leave me absolutely anything to me. That's her signature line. If there's anything you need, Noel is glad to be a fade. You can leave absolutely anything to me. Absolutely anything. Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. My name is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two. She's adorable. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Oh dear. Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May oh I dear. be excused to fetch it in? <laughs> Please stay indoors until the storm passes. I will deal with any urgent outdoor business. Hmm, such fair weather. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? work. Oh, oh, what, what sort, sort of work, work did that, you ask? <laughs> well, anything <laughs> that makes you feel bright and sunny, too. I could probably do her voice. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little questionable. Hmm? Such fair weather. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? Oh, what sort of work you are, is that? <laughs> oh, what sort of work is that, you ask? Well... <laughs> Anything that makes you feel bright and sunny too. <laughs> that sounded like ass, but you know whatever. Can you hear the animal archon's voice on the breeze? It calms me down whenever I get flustered. Does it now? Good morning. Breakfast is served. I will be on hand the whole time. Should you find that anything is not to your taste, please do not hesitate to let me know. Ready for your tea break? Please wait here while I get it ready. Oh, everyone has free time in the evening, and that is when I am busy. <laughs> All right. So what? Hold on. There you go. It's nearly time for afternoon tea. Is it now? <laughs> What's this star thingy? I don't see it. What is that? Is it in the tree? Oh shit. No pain, no gain. <laughs> if it's in the tree, I am not getting it. Is that star moving? Or am I tripping?
Oh, I see. Another one? Hold on. Okay. Where to now? Where to now? Okay. Let's go. Let's go here. Um. Come a little closer. Did you hear about the informants? Have been saying apparently the Knights of Averias aren't working alone. They are resolved the super the storm terror crisis. They had other people working in the shadows. So you're telling me the third faction we have to worry about now? The Fat Fati? Fat Fati? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. The fat, all right. The fat knights of Avodios, and now these guys. This is not good news. I think there's an opportunity here. The people in Mumstead don't currently know where these mysterious actors were, so all we need to do is dress it up a little bit, run some propaganda about how the f fat. <laughs> Rush to Monastat's aid in their time of need, resolving the storm terror crisis once and for all. <laughs> that could be risky. If they saw through the propaganda, they'd end up even more mistrustful of us. There's no need to worry about fat propaganda capabilities. They know what they're doing. And in any case, given how powerful the fat is, who would dare question us? Well. Hmm. I wish us the best of luck. I'm telling you, everything's going to be fine. Stop worrying. It... Why are you in the... it is. It's so delicious! Hot Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down! Paimon 
one eats too much. <laughs> Not bad today. What are you doing? You frightened me. What are you doing? I, I'm not doing anything. Oh, well, you've caught me already, haven't you? It's just an ordinary water fountain, but somehow people treat it like a fit wishing well. Throw their money away for nothing. But I could use that money. I'm in desperate need of money. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you need the money? Because of Anna, my sister. You may have met her during the day. She's suffering from a rare disease. So she often comes here to make wishes. Why does it have to be her? She's such a kind and gentle kid. Why must it be her and not me? These coins somewhat make up for the medicine she needs. But I also work hard at my job, of course. If the Archons are watching, I'm sure they will forgive my actions. Alright, alright. Aww. Hey, the puppy, I won't pay them. Hey, pet puppy. Oh my god. Hey, the cutie. Now don't bark at me. Hey, there's a lady over there waving to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Hi, Gavin. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Actually... I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Mm -hmm. Has she been causing some mischief? Has she been oh, causing some mischief? Shut the fuck up. Being on the lookout for great adventurers <laughs> is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. All right, Basically, then. the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Oh, we get food! Hells yeah. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. <laughs> they are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With Excuse Abyss, me? You shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. All right.
I can make a gym. Okay. Looking to buy a weapon? We should talk to Wagner. I'm an apprentice named Schwartz. Master's work is pure perfection. I never tire from watching him work. He usually help I usually help Master out with the odd jobs on the shop floor. Getting some downtime where I can just to watch him work his magic is reward enough for me. Any of your own masterpieces show me? I have tried the results usually less than perfect, though Master normally melts them back down again and redoes them. There was one I was quite proud of, but Master wouldn't let me sell it from the shop. Said it damaged his reputation. <laughs> so I took it out the side gate and gave it a few swings. Ended up sticking it in the ground there. A group of kids who hang out over there seem to have gotten them interested. Anyway, I digress. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm talking to you. You have swagged him out mark number four, I'm sure. Bit curt, eh? It'd be hard pressed to find a better mentor, though. Just look at the weapons he makes. A true testament of how hard work he works. But as long as there is a mutual respect between us, I can't ask for more. To be honest, I think Master would get lonely without me here. Last time I took a trip, back home for example actually never mind yeah don't bring that one up with master guess what I'm gonna bring it up with master hey I don't know what that is, but okay. What is Hmm. Y'all are hiding something. <laughs> Welcome. Every treasure here is unique. We don't negotiate the price, nor do we give refunds. Oh, I see you're pretty interested. Oh yes, I did see something strange in Wolvendom. From the silhouette, it seems to be a boy. But he was with a pack of wolves, and they seemed very close to you. Perhaps I was mistaken. I was a quite a distance away. After all, it was the only it was only a glimpse. I mean, how could humans live alongside wolves? How strange.
Come take a look. There will definitely be something that catches your eye. Right. Laura. Cathedral if you're injured. Okay. You're in for a little shock. Here we go. Well, sort of. Just tells me about stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> Adventure Rex Seven. All right. So I guess we just need to attack more enemies. Maybe. This could. Talks about his freaking father, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> He's like, Do you know where my dad is? Have you seen him? He got swept away in the, the wind, and he never came back. <laughs> I'm like, Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> sounds like you, your dad might not be coming back at all if he got swept in the wind. I think he might be gone gone. Oh, how exciting! <laughs> I hate you not to do that. Scared the fuck out of me. Why are you level 14? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. You stupid bitch. Got a damaged mask. Interesting. Fascinating. <laughs> That's what I said. There was a boar up there. Why can't I break him? Bullshit. Freeze. Traveler, do you ever find yourself frustrated because of your lack of strength? Have you ever wondered what it could be? 
like to have powers beyond your wildest dreams? And you are? Who am I? I am the one who is the god of the springs has put here especially to make miracles happen for people just like you. You can call me Hopkins the Marvelous. I'm not, I'm not done talking to you. How do I get this power? Just drink this bottle of holy water and God of the Springs will uh, reveal divine mysterious mysteries to you. Who knows? With any luck you might get a vision. And how could you not want a vision? Just 300 more for a bottle. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Huh? You find that expensive? How about this then? If you purchase holy water I have here, it'll come with an extra magical chalice. Drinking the water, holy water through the chalice increases its effects greatly. So buy it. Buy it now! Interesting. Let's see if we can. Oh, there's one over there. Ooh, wonderful. No, oh, don't drop off. Get down. Get down. What the fuck is wrong with you? Whatever. I have no idea what exactly that was. <laughs> but it came out of me. Woo! I'm not trying to spill m &Ms. I supposed to get up there? I don't know, but holy fuck. I literally was just up earlier and now I gotta get up again. Alright. Hold up. I'll be right back. <laughs> this time is a body break. Hold up. I'll be right I'm sorry. I'll be right back.
You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two? Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two? Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Okay, I'm back. If you hear a really annoying fan sound that just like picked up in my audio, <laughs> it's because I just turned my fan on because it's it's hot over here. I got a lot of hot PC components in here. It's warm, very warm in here. She about to sit on the floor. Can I like shoot at it? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you know what? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It's not the direction I wanted to go, but... Something in that tree. Stop your eggs, Mr. Bird. up there did it where'd he go what the god damn it you This is where I really wish I had my controller because this shit's hurting my shoulder. It's okay. You'll be fine. I know I could just hang on the wall of that. You know, after a little while the stamina would go down. <laughs> gotcha, Wes. No. Stop following me. Quit harassing me. I'll catch up. Can I climb this house? Yeah. Sorry for my stamina to go back up. Okay. Uh oh. I'm stopped by the roof. Girl, you act like you died. So there's another one over here. Somewhere up there. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to glide over there to bitch fucking guard the damn tree.
You're fine. Stop climbing. <laughs> if you get back on that house, that's what fucking god. This mother asshole. Do all that climbing again. Chess over that statue and quit it. see on the map because there's nothing there. Yeah, no worries. Come on, there's one there. There's another thing over there. I'm not going for that one though. Not yet, at least. What, is, what a bore. It is. What's that? Hold on. I, as you can see, I'm very easily distracted. I want to know what this thing is, though. What is this? What? Come on, please. Ooh, wonderful. Ah, come on. Almost had the fish. thing over here. Huh. I wonder if it's just a waypoint or if it maybe could be a, a thingy. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know. Who's these? There's that thing. It's over here. Ah, there you are. This statue of the seven seems to be affected by a monster nearby. Defeating that monster might remove this strange wind current seal thingy around the statue of the seven. Get down. Uh, not so hard. You dumbass. Run. I'll race you there. There we go. Do I have anything? I do. Offer. Okay. Where do we want to go? Oh, 22. Yeah, no thanks. Y'all hear the fucking chicken out there? I swear to god. He be doing too much sometimes. I swear. How big is this fuck? God! Jesus! Why is this map so big? I'm glad there's fast travel. That's all I gotta say. Let's go here just because I feel like this is a good 
spot to be going um, as far as fast travel and stuff like that goes. What is with these trees? Look how dead they look. What the? Okay. I'm not even going in the direction that I wanted to be. But what is down here though? Hold on. Since we're over here. Are those bones? Dragon? Question mark? There's a thing up there. Can I take some grapes off your stuff? <laughs> How do we go into backpack? Yep, okay. Perfect. All right. Apples? I don't want apples. <laughs> okay. It's my coffee. Yummy. And if you're wanting to know what coffee I'm drinking, this play base looks completely out of place in this building. Probably a gift. Should I smash it? I'm gonna steal all y'all's books. <laughs> Don't mind me. O oh, watcher of the night, forget not the splendor of dawn. O oh, ye who content with evildoers, stay sway not far. Stay, sway not from the path of righteousness. Jesus. See, sometimes, okay. I look at these games and stuff, and I look at the people who help create them, like, say, voice actors, right? And I'm thinking, could I become a voice actor? Sure, maybe. You know? Maybe. However, I don't also think I could do it. I also don't think I could do it because, uh, motherfucker, I can't read for shit. 
<laughs> so, ugh. Oh, distinguished guests. May I ask, are you here to discuss business? Who are you? Uh, I am Eliza. Under his grace, when the master of the house is away, I take care of the, mo the major affairs. See, I can't fucking read for shit. I'd have to read one line over 20 fucking times just to memorize that bitch. And then I'd have to do it for every single line. Master Dulik, ooh. Excuse me? Dulik? Um, mm -hmm. excuse me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Master Dulik does not attend, not tend to, does not tend to worry himself too much with the affairs of the winery. So whatever business you have here to discuss is probably best discussed with me directly. You have another agenda to draw to you. My, you have a keen for detail. It is true. My other role is Chief Executive of the Mumstadt Wine Appreciation Guide. But I do not do it for appearances. Nor do I seek to hide it, my liege. The simple fact is that given Don Watery standing monostat, standing in monostat, there is barely any distinction to be made between the managing, the, between managing the affairs of the winery and managing the affairs of the whole industry. Oh, but we have more to discuss because... Uh, who are you? Tell me about your past. My past? That's something I can talk about freely. I trust you know the winery for her owner, Master uh, Creepus. Interesting name. He was Duluk's father. Master Creepus was like a father to me too. He was the pri He was in the prime of his life at the time of his tragic ass accident all those years ago. Master Dulick spent a long time grieving. It was during that time I started to take care of some of the winery affairs. I thought that rather than be overcome by sorrow, it was better for me to do to share some of Master Dulick's load. Don't ever say that shit again. That mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not great for you, hun. Do looks load anyway. Um, it was also the only thing I could do. Thought it would be a little presumptuous, excuse me, of me to act beyond my rule. I do think perhaps that's what Master Creepus would have liked to see. Oh, sorry, that was a bit deep and depressing, didn't it? Damn, barren ass walls. It's all the way over there. Not a damn thing, just another door. Alright, let's go! Loud ass motherfucker jets! Fuck out of here with that shit. I hate jets, bro. Just God damn it. The fucking wires everywhere. Excuse me? Huh? Where did you come from? What do you want with me? 
What are you doing? I'm the cellar manager here. Occasionally I receive stock transportation. The role isn't stressful and the boss is extravagant. He pays me quite well. Even without all that, just being in the company of this priceless sash is amazing. Just think of how few people ever get the chance to even see such a magnificent, let alone work with it. I'm gonna switch my camera placement here for just a second. Okay. <laughs> I'm not done talking to you. What's over there? The wine cellar? Oh, the wine cellar. What would I be doing here otherwise? Let me tell you. Don't get any ideas about this wine here. You never have the chance to put them into action anyway. No, no. It's nothing. Hmm. What's up there? I must know. What is up here? Hmm. Excuse me. I shut. Shut. I have the fucking wall. Well, that's not bad. What's up, Doc? What's that over there? This shit acts like a fence. Ah! Can I shoot it? Damn it. What's that? Damn it. All right. Well, I forgot the fuck get out of here. Let's go to mini map. And we will go back to the port here. Okay. It's a long ass trek. You know, I notice I do this a lot. When I'm playing games, right? I have to unlock every single place. Every single checkpoint that I can. Or even if it's like the farthest away. I do it. God damn it, you. Ah, this moment will be frozen in time. Ha 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 
fortunate. Yeah, I don't want to fall down there. Mm -mm. So, I was going to say, how the fuck am I going to get across here? <clears throat> No, don't start that shit with me. I should have died on that fall, I'm just saying. Dumbass. I guess I could have burned that chest, but oh well. It's not the end of the world. Open them? Eighteen. Nope! Sorry. I'm not equipped to fighting you right now. Run, climb, bitch. Do something. Just get the fuck out of here. There's a bunch of these element things. It's kind of nice. Can you stop chasing me? Thanks. I said stop chasing me. Go away. No. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Okay. It's up there somewhere. Um, 
I feel like this is a place where a lot of shit's gonna go down. <laughs> like maybe a dragon fight or something, you know? Hang on. Trying to get <laughs> get around this. So I can get to the other side. <clears throat> Jesus. Well, we'll probably have to visit you soon. So... Wait, hold on. We'll go for this one. Only because <laughs> we're already over on this side. <laughs> And I don't want to go all the way back over, so... Just don't let that be enemies. Oh god, okay. Here comes one. There's more. Hey, fuck.
Y'all can't touch me in the tree. It's gonna chop down this tree. They remind me of very angry ants. Hello, bitch. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's not get into another situation of combat. That was that was not fun. Let's see what we can get into. Pull up, bitch. Bitch. 
Bitch! Okay, time to fucking run. Jesus Christ, dude. This bitch. This is the lily. Bitch, stop. Run. Okay, origin resin can be used to vitalize petrified trees found deep within the domains, as well as various leline blossoms found across Tevet. Doing so will grant you valuable treasures. Consuming original resin will gradually generate back to its limit over time, or can be immediately replenished by spinning pillow gems. Okay. Interesting. Bitch! Did you kill me? Oh, All this burnt grass. Now, leave it all to me. Where to? Okay. I think we should go back over here because there's a bunch of stuff over here. So like, for instance, open mini maps, make that our waypoint. Leave it to me, all of it, whatever it is. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. <laughs> Okay. How the fuck are we gonna get up there? I guess I could like risk it and climb here, but <gasps> huh? 
We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Aha! Highly dangerous. Okay, that's... Yep, there's one there. things. Oh, it's over there. There's a little 22. Can I? Okay. I want to fly to that side. Sneaky, we sneaky little shits. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Mini maps, because we're not gonna we're not gonna stay here. This is <laughs> not good territory to be staying in. Um, okay. This. What is this? Oh dear! Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May I be excused to fetch it in? <laughs> no, you may not. We're going to do our thing. Oh, sixteen. What the fuck? Why, why would it be like, hey, you know? those what are those mean mean okay I see who they are now What is that glowing? Who has fire? You have fire. Maybe? No? Okay. Oh, so sorry. Cool it.
Alright, where are you gonna take me? Let's go. Where are we going? Up. Oh, I don't wanna go up. You psychopath. Fine. I'll go up. Fortunate. Hey. Hmm. I can use a, a special somebody over here. Taking me out. Shut up. What is this building? Don't want to fight, I just want to see what this is. Fall in there. Okay. Let's go and Go back to the city. Back to the city. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. These are okay, I guess. Should be a Um, I guess. 
don't really have a choice here. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. It's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. <sighs> okay. Committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. Hey. Okay. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? Oh, thank the thousand winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the animal god to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Pierce here about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? Oh, the room is not open to outsiders. Well, it does involve some internal secrets of the Knights of Puppet. Bitch, I was reading. Yeah, 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 yeah.
This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. <laughs> yes, I was born with the eye patch. The my grandfather <laughs> left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a Hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating, full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands. We must get the sword before them. You just rest assured that we are here to help. Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. <laughs> hey! We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Ouch. Are you a new adventurer? You want to join my team? Hey, do you have any intel on the Arcadian ruins? Arcadian? Mm, can't say I've heard of it. Sorry, I'm still new here, so... Hmm. But you can try posting a commission and see if there are any adventurers who know about it. That's a no-no. No way! them beating us to the treasure? Really? Well then, I'll keep a lookout for your treasure. Uh, I mean, your Arcadian ruins. Great, thanks. Hey, are you a new adventurer? Want to join my team? Yeah, people are usually bound to get rich. You seem in good company. I watched the wrong 
Bitch, hold on. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Damn it. We all thought it was a joke about him being unlucky, but... All commissions he took on somehow always failed at the least expected way. Come to think of it, it is rather strange. Hey, kiddo! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. Oh, damn, Paimon. Watch your mouth, little lady. We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. It's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian... Arcadian ruins. Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Oh, my intel? Uh-huh, see, see, see. You're gonna friggin' run your mouth. Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Zaya first. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna climb the wall. Maybe. Ah. You're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that... What's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate Black Market Intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian Ruins. Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the Black Market. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. By the knights. Ooh, no problem. All right. See what we can do to get in trouble. Can I just like use the mini map? <laughs> okay, yeah. Teleport. Teleport.
Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. She's a traveler. She has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially. But now, I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Well, you did save my life. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue. One, the treasure. Wait, is that it? There's also this map that came with it. Could this be the experts to spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? I'm gonna lead you to it then. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out. Okay. Three six-armed giants. Because I'm not running all the way back. We're going to teleport. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have a feeling it's up there. I'm telling him because it's in his information. You're back. Looks like you got the intel. Yes and no. It's a lot more complicated than that. Three six armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue. One, the treasure. What do you make of it? Riddles. How quaint. <laughs> Let me think. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the... Hey, that's smart. A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense. So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. But the other one is guarding... <laughs> Let's hope it's really that simple. Come on! Let's go take a look around that windmill! That one. Okay. Huh. I'm not supposed to fly up there. Like, what? Okay. 
Okay. Will we make it? We shall see. It's going to be a close one. All right. No, get the fuck down. What the fuck are you doing? To go to him for a hint. I know where's that. We go here almost all the time. It's over here. Okay. Am I in the right spot? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. No, stop that. Okay. Stayed right about dead smack there. She doesn't live home alone. Passion's rush through the clear spring is just a front. She is cold and alone. Her true heart is revealed. Okay. Where are we on the map? We're over here. We need to be on the other side. It was up top, I think I remember. Ouch.
Oh, you scared the life out of me. You shouldn't sneak up on people when they're absorbed in something like this. How are your adventures going? Quite smoothly. I finished uh, unnoting the map, the Junkyard Gorge, Springville, and the surrounding areas. Unnoting is actually quite tiring, but it's also very satisfying. Are you interested in my work by any chance? If you are, please. If you are, please take these. It's some of the knowledge I've gained on my adventures. And someday everyone in Mondstadt will use these maps I made. Don't take me somewhere too far. Okay, that's fine. Is this an answer from this world? Is this an answer from this world? No. No, it's not. The mysteries have all been solved. It nope. Sure took a lot of work. Not quite. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. <laughs> so now, hmm. Paimon believes that there is no need. Let's go for it. Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like, like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to. No, you are nothing. Paimon, uh, Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> All right, Paimon will save the chit chat for later. Arcadian treasure hunt, here we go! Mm, yeah, I'm definitely telling Dulik first. Maybe. I have zero fucking things over here. That's wonderful. Well, other than that one. I mean, we could teleport to that one, but we're not gonna... Mm. 
do anything with that. Arcadian ruins. Is it just me, or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Paya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. I'm double, not level 10, so, um... As you wish. I need to level this <laughs> up. Bye-bye. This moment will be frozen in time. I don't want to fight whatever's in here. Is this the end? Where are you, my treasure? I'm on shut up. Let's look around. <laughs> A 
I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? <sighs> well, I did have dealings with them, but them and their stupid principles. Losers who can't make a fortune. I'm Izzard. Izzard, the motherfucking lizard. On behalf of the treasure hoarders. Uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Paimon <sighs> won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. <laughs> Your gang. However, they're not as uh, boy. sociable <laughs> as me. I'm sorry to rain on Don't your Don't ever say that again. But your gang won't be participating in your current plan. Exactly. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them. In Mondstadt prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Dumbass. Kaya, he wants to see your treasure! Get him! Oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Huh. You got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of the... Wait, what are you... You're not gonna get me. Okay. Oh, God. Whoa. What is this? I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> what a troublemaker. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done already. Knight, you're not going to watch me die, are you? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me. All right, then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Jesus fucking Christ. Run! Like the fuck is wrong? Oh my god! Don't push your luck. Don't push your luck. I'm not done. Ah. Ow, motherfucker! God, fucking run. Holy fucking shit, dude. What the hell, bro?
this asshole, dude? Dude! Dude, fucking burn! Don't go towards him, dumbass! Told you I'd wake up. No one escapes my sights. Uh. I'll race you there. How embarrassing. <clears throat> my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised. Dumbass. Or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Let's take him back. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the night! All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? Yeah, Paimon. I'm done talking to him. <laughs> Just a sec. You did help me out. So you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. Ooh. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this harbinger of dawn as a reward. Harbinger of dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance. Oh, well, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of this place. That was ridiculous. And I know it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> We'll get it because we, we need to level up. 
We're so close to getting to level 9. What the fuck? Reward on the road. All right, so one more over here. Ha <laughs> gotcha <laughs> You see let's try to run. I'll keep this close. <laughs> I'll keep this close. Don't play with me. I'll beat you the fuck up. So don't play with me. That's another thing. Cause I'll beat you the fuck up.
<laughs> Light work. <laughs> So this area, I think it's relatively, from what I could see, cleared out. What is this? No. We're not doing that again. Um. Is it J? Yeah. <laughs> Go faster and faster and faster and hi Amber. How's it going? Hey traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? No. A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wind glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then I I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules. But you what you running for? Properly. Here, take this gliding Come back. No need to memorize Come it. Come back where you go. Familiar with everything in there. <laughs> For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Avonia's gliding manual does not sound like a fun read. Well, guess I'd better get started. Yep. Listen, I can't read that fast. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They ask the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most I important. I forgot to turn on subtitles. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. It's all right. The it's birds right. thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. 
they threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm. Hmm. That's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Anyway, let's go find Amber. Let's we'll see. Let's see here. It's probably not since I'm on a different one. Nope, not here. Can't meet you. How dare you lock the door on me? Nobody here. Going to steal all of their books. Library roof rules, seventh edition. There are several editions of library rules. Stop. But none of them were particularly useful. So. All unnecessary rules were abandoned in this edition. All users of the library should obey the following rules. One, please keep quiet in the library. Two, please do not damage the books. Three, please remember to turn your books on time. I believe everyone knows how to deal with the violations, so it will not be repeated here. We hope everyone can abide by the above rules and make good use of the library.
I'm going to be the smartest bitch on the block. Oh, there's a book over here. I saw a sparkle. Maybe not. Who are you calling a biatch? Now that I have stolen all of the Z books, now we can go. <laughs> no! Who are you talking to? Who who's in here? Way over there, damn girl. Now I gotta figure out how the fuck to get back up there. I'm not gonna make that. I don't know, maybe I will. Ew, what the fuck? Well, you're gonna be cutting close. Okay. I did it. dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animal slime takeoff. 
Apparently, if you pop an animal slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. Sounded like somebody was in the house, so it was weird. Okay. Wait, I'm not ready. Rich. Ah, shit. You nailed it! But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. God damn it. Then you heard her back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. <sighs> Why all this back and forth? Lady, you're killing me. I gotta get this one. I've got to get that one. Hold up. Yes. It's in that tower, isn't it? <sighs> yes, it is. I see it. God damn it. Alright, well. Let's 
go find her. and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. I won't let you down. Oh shit. Shit. Training. No! I'm not gonna fast this. I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I can go. Ah! <laughs> Bro. I need to climb this big ass bitch. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready. Keep a firm grasp on the wind glide. Stop it. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> No! Damn it, you. I had it. I fucking had it, too. That's some bullshit. See, okay, listen. I hate these kind of games where you're timed and you have to... Oh, God. You didn't hurt yourself once you're ready. Keep a firm grasp on the wind glider and let the wind... Shut up!
Keep this close. Damn. <laughs> Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy. You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Seriously? Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. Hmm, but it's all too sudden. I can't. Hey, my something included the way to scatter people to wild or avoid storms. Teach us how to survive. We're going to teach them to set up basic camps to do pest control, avoid beast and monster. Oh, never mind. Rather take our chances out there. Better remain safe within these walls. Ah, oh, yes. Some of our investigating adventurers have informed me that there is our monsters congregating in the Whisper Woods. Almost everyone in the investigation, uh, and I must remain here to command them. Traveler, can I count on you to clear these monsters out? <sighs> Consider it done. I will leave you to it, and don't worry, we'll be compensated fairly. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, what's going on? Please show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. Hey, where's you what's her right face? To remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Huh. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him, 
Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. <sighs> okay. Menu. Oh my god, why do we go there? Hold on. All right. Yo. This is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. Elemental. Oh. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows. It's from a frame of a wind glider. Therefore, there are no elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. I got Aker Hopkins. I'm here on important business. Oh. Mushroom. I got a tomato. Yeah, Up there. Why she lives in this house right here, bro. Has to be the highest house in the city. <laughs> Always.
something over there. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Wait, are you telling me people actually do that? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. We'll stop talking and let's go. This way, right? Yeah. Right, no. Goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. Huh. Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly troll camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village, but the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Well, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out of the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit cart to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? He was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh... I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. Huh. Freeze! 
deserve a little taste. bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Come on, let's keep following the elemental markings. Oh, look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. All right, let's go. Hello. How do I do it? Oh. Kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie.
natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go. I fucked up. <laughs> oh no, I'm good. Bitch. Dead, quit it. Yeah, don't fall down there.
All right, let's go. Is this cheating? Maybe. Do I care? No, not really. Let's go! Okay. It looks like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be Raptor! You can't escape! <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Bet. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl. Why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry. I promise that once the Grandmaster gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> Hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! <sighs> You're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us! If only we could glide across! <gasps> so how did he get across? If it's too far to glide, it's definitely too far for anything like that! There's also no sign of an anchor point! Bye bye, kiddo. Oh no, he's. Oh, we can't hesitate any. But, but. Don't worry, I'm the gliding champ. Oi, Outrider, you have less chances of. Paimon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left. Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. <sighs> Be my witness. Go, go, Outrider, Raptor go, go. Raptor says will never make it. But if you listen carefully... Wait, stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... The wind... The wind says I will make it, and that's good enough for me. Like a good little boy.
will be frozen in time. Ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. You sure it's did. The only one. <laughs> it would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way, past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug, in the hope that we would just give up and leave. Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like There's 99 a parts. parts courage. Uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in the exams I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean exams since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. <sighs> Every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 times altogether. But I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from Acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. What? <laughs> Guess that's why she's the outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. <sighs> Getting this gliding license has turned into quite the adventure. Indeed, indeed. All right. Too much longer for a stream, but that's okay.
so fancy. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're officially legal now! Yay! I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship. No, don't. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around. <sighs> it's kind of boring. Whoa, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. Daddy, what's mommy doing? Mommy is a sister. She believes in... Hi! Daddy, who's Papa Toes? Is he a magic man? But Papa Toes is a god of wind. He's a very magical man. The reason why mommy and daddy and Lily have such a happy life is because of Lord Barter Bar Barbatoes. is a very nice man and looks after us. But daddy, why is the man over there saying nasty things about Papa Toes? Little boys and girls aren't allowed to listen to what fat men say. <laughs> Alright, dear. That's funny. Oh, max level there.
go. Alright, everyone except for her is level 20. That's what's up. Do I need better weapons now? Enhance. Level five. Of twenty. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Is there one better than the one she's got now? That one's slightly better. That one's a lot better. <laughs> Both of these are the same, so we're going to switch it to that. And then we're going in hats. Level eight. Oh yeah. All okay, right. So she has the best one. Okay. So we'll enhance it then. Level five. All right, and then what do you have? What, what's your weapon? Yeah, you can have that. Uh, this. Okay, so they're all leveled up. Wait, can we? Okay. <sighs> Rank 15, huh? Alright, let's go down. We'll use this <laughs> cheat just a little bit. Teleport.
welcome. Every treasure here is unique, guaranteed. <laughs> yep. There's nothing here that Paimon recognizes. That's for sure. <laughs> what did I tell you? These are all rare items brought back by adventurers from all corners of the world. Is there anything that catches your eye? No need. I forgot to mention, I operate on a trading basis. Goods for goods. No more accepted here. Oh. I've been trying to make something a bit special recently, and I need a lot of animo sigils to decorate it with. Do you have any animo sigils with you? What it's are those? like a seal or emblem that the animal archon gives to adventurers as a form of acknowledgement. More to the point, any animal sigils you find, you can trade in here for items in the shop. Oh, my bedroom six. Okay. <laughs> Trade it for money. That's nice. Hmm. Animo sigils appear all over Mondstadt. If you find yourself short, just keep exploring. Absolutely. What could be more beautiful than a gift from the Animal Archon? <laughs> okay, you got me. It's actually more complicated than that. But it's easier for people to understand if I just say it's for decoration. Obviously, the reason I need animal sigils is because they have properties that other materials cannot provide. <laughs> of course. I guarantee you will be quite surprised at the result. This isn't illegal, is it? This isn't illegal, is it? Don't make me be part of something illegal. Come on now. Have some sense. Don't be like this. Do come again soon. And bring me lots and lots of animo sigils next time. Please also visit if you come across any weird and wonderful treasures on your adventure. Astra Abyssos. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're almost at level ten, which is crazy to me. Um, see if we can get two level 10. I need something though. Like, I need. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. I need a quest. Am I supposed to be going around and like talking to people? Because like, mm, we don't do that here. <laughs> We're part of the anti-social social club. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in talking. Anyway. No talking, no feminists, anti social social club, that is us. Where can we go? What is this? 12. Okay. Um, what's this? Temple of the Wolf, 15. Okay.
I wish it showed it just a little bit more than you know this just a little bit it doesn't have to be crazy or anything like that just you know enough to be like okay yeah this is what this is for mm -hmm. Ah, damn. Let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all.
the dances. <sighs> My leg. Okay. I want to go back over here. I want to go here specifically. I'm gonna use her uh, little little kettle here. I'm gonna have to make some things. Some salmon and some pepper. Yep, yep. Hmm. Oh, what can I do for you? Can you tell me about the events that are happening as of late? Here you go. If you like it, you can always come visit me again. Yeah, like salmon and some, uh... God damn it. Some, uh, some pepper. Storm Terror. <sighs> Pistos has really taken a turn for the worse ever since Storm Terror appeared. Nobody's in the mood to eat. Even those customers who showed up do nothing but sigh and moan. But I suppose that's normal. I just hope that all of this will be over soon. What is a good hunter? Good Hunter is the best restaurant in town. We are famous for our venison, steak, and satisfying salad. The hunters in Springville provide us with the ingredients. All the ingredients are bought and fresh, brought and fresh every day. I can tell you that about any item on the menu if you're interested. Finally, I have the chance to stop you. I've had my eye on you for a while now. An outlander wandering in the plaza is quite easy to spot. What are you doing? I'm waiting for someone to invite me to a drink at the tavern. 
Would that be you? Just kidding. Loosen up a little. Mom's dad is the city of romance. Ah, uh, well... Ah, uh, tell me about yourself. Me? I'm just a simple tavern owner. I'm sure you noticed my tavern, Cattails, on your way here. Oh, sorry. Today? Just how are the taverns around here? I don't like to admit it, but the best tavern in the city is Angel Share. However, ever since I hired Donna as my bartender, business has been looking up. It doesn't matter whether they come for the wine or for her. Muddy is flooding in now. Tell me, are any events happening as of late? There are. There have, recently. The Angel Share has been giving out complimentary chicken mushroom skewers. And we've been running a promotion in response. Since we are the cattails, our main appetizer has to be the monster grilled fish. Anyway, take these. And remember to swing by sometime if you're free. Aww. I got me some food. Free food. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. Well, there you look. Anything in particular? I'm just browsing. I envy those who can show restraint when shopping. Once I see an on sale sign, my mora <laughs> in my coin pouch goes away like the wind. <sighs> Have you seen my alcoholic scoundrel of a husband by any chance? I hope he's not scurried off to find a drink somewhere. Hey there. We have quality goods at honest prices. What do you have to sell here? Please, have a look around. Oh, <gasps> they've got pepper. I'll take some pepper. Um, I'll take three. New milk? The neighboring nation of Okay. I'd like to ask about something. I'm listening. What makes Monocent General Goods special? Our shop may be small, but we have a warehouse of Leo Harbor. We take pride in having the largest catalog of items and the fastest shipping of all, in all the Monocent. What is Monastat known for? Monastat is a city known for its wines. Taverns are where you'd want to go. Most dwellers here go to one of the taverns for a drink after a hard day's work. You can meet all sorts of people in the taverns at night. Hey, ya puppy! Ya puppy! Ya puppy! Alright, so where are the taverns? I guess I'll take the the Japanese stuff and head dry. Hello, Flora. Welcome to Flora's Whisper. Do you need anything? So tell me about your flowers. We carry a large variety of flowers that are looking for anything in particular. Tell me about sweet flowers. Sweet flowers, you say? They look nice, but most people just use them for cooking. If you see people having sweet flowers in their gardens, they're probably used for sugar. Huh. It's nice to know. Tell me about your flowers. Okay. Tell me about dandelions. Dandelions are so are very feathery. They're my personal favorite. The Acting Grandmaster of the Knights is also known as the Dandelion Knight, as I recall. She probably learned the power of Animo from the Dandelions. <laughs> Why do you like Dandelions so much? <laughs> I wonder. 
Maybe it's because I've been reading The Fox and the Dandelion Sea. Here, take it. Maybe you'll like Dandelions too once you finish reading it. Tell me about your flowers. Okay. Tell me about the Cecilias. Cecilias, you got good taste. They've grown in cold and windy places. Legend has it that they only bloom when it's quiet. If you wish to cultivate them, you'll probably have better luck with the mist flowers. About Storm Terror. I was honestly more frightened by the storm that surrounded Monastat than Storm Terror. Everyone's been focused on losing to, on the losses to people and property, but I'm still more concerned about the plants and flowers. I'll protect them, just like Lord Barbados protects me. Alright. What do you have to sell, love? Certainly, we have the finest selection, whether you're looking to give a bouquet to someone or even do some gardening yourself. Okay, okay. Um, I don't need any of those. I have seen plenty of those around, so we're gonna pass. Fresh fruit only at Queen's fruit. Is this a tavern? It's like a tavern. It's Nimrod. Shut up. If I take it back out. Oh, hi. What's the matter? What are you doing? Is this a trick question? I'm on my way to have a drink. Oh, er Oh, it's fine. I don't think my wife will have overheard that. So, I actually had to sneak out and buy some wine. <sighs> How can you deny a monastater the right to drink? Even when... When even the one of the four <laughs> drunkards is a woman. How can my wife be so narrow-minded? Who are the four drunkards? You want to know about them? <laughs> Why... They are nothing short of legends in Monastat, on par with the Knights of Fathorius Grandmaster Varka. I can see you're the only pretend you're, you're only pretending to follow. You are Are you from out of town? No wonder you haven't heard. God fucking dogs get shit on me. There's no point in giving you their real names. But I'll give you their nicknames and see if you can figure it out. <laughs> there are Sir, Sir Dolwitz, the oblivious merchant, Dame Workshy, the absentee boss, what? Ob Obdiers, the incredible hunter, and Rookie McSchoolboy, the inexperienced adventurer. Should be pretty obvious by now, huh? <laughs> Talk to you later. Oh, hi. What's the matter? About Storm Terror. That was terrifying. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would have sworn that someone was talking out the back of their drunk little head. I never want to feel something like Storm Terror pass over overhead ever again. Please, Knights of Fafarius, do something. Come in, come in. We're having a discount on Angel Share. Tell me about Angel Share. <sighs> it was way back when the Dawn Winery was established, when the owner of the winery opened this tavern. The winery owner, Master Dulick, still holds the deed to Angel Share. He really has taken the business to next level. The best in Monastat is the truth. Master Dulick serves the customers here personally when he's in a good mood and lets Charlie off for a day or two. If you see him here, be respectful. He's a monastant tycoon, you know.
Tell me about the Mondstadt industry. Mondstadt climate, water, and crops are all perfect for making wine. I have to agree. We are blessed by the animal orcon. Apple cider, cherry ciders, all taste mighty nice. I forgot to mention dandelion wine. That's one of a kind. By exporting the... Ah, bright. By exploring the Liu's trade unions, Monistat wines will be sold all over the continent. They make incredible sales all over there. Some even call it bottled mora. This must be why Don Watering owners is so filthy rich. All right. Tell me about yourself. Let me get a little piece of advice. Don't touch any of the bottles here, no matter how plain it looks. The bottles I broke happened to the last owner's collection red wine. Do you see the villa to the north over there? What I mean is, the wine cost as much as that villa. By my calculations, I need to work 48 more years to pay it back without sleeping and eating. Well, it does seem that hopeless if I think about it like that. I need to get back to buying back my freedom. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> about the storm terror. <sighs> Honestly, that scared me to death. We didn't know when Storm Terror might attack again either. But even so, I have to stand here and advertise the tavern. I do own Master Dillick money so much that I have to stand out here without food, drink, or sleep for another 48 years. If I slack off now, that time will be extended. I wonder if Master Dillick would clear my debt on account of the dragon attacks. Probably not. <laughs> Do you have a special these days? Certainly. We're giving every free customer chicken mushroom skewers. It goes great with any drink. Here, take one and have a seat. I promise it'll suit your liking. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. You're leaving already? If you want to try Monosat's best find, this is the place. Oh shit, there was a missing person's poster. I should look at it. That's fine. Oh Jesus. upstairs. Bruce. <laughs> he sounds a little drunk. There's another place out there I can't go up. Uh oh, stuck. Okay. Charles! You know you always have to talk to the bartender. What will it be today? <sighs> Any recommendations? Apple cider from the Dawn Winery is a special at Angel Share. You can try my special cocktail if you want. It's on the house. If it's your first time here. What soap liquor is the best? If you like strong wine, then I recommend that you try Death Afternoon. It's Captain Keo's favorite. But the strongest wine I know has to be the one called fire water. It hails from Sneo. Sounds like they sneezed when they named that name. Anyway, it was brought into Smodestat by Sneo's merchant. Sneo's merchants. But Master Dulux stopped importing it saying that it didn't fit the taste of the peoples here. The only remaining bottle is from the original batch 
It's for display purposes only though. So you'll have to go through Sinea if you want to try some. Will it be today? Tell me about yourself. You want to know about me? I've been working as a bartender here for more than a decade. I'm employed by the Dawn Winery like everyone else. I'm not that interesting in al interested in alcohol, but it's my job, so. I mean, I'm not like Donna at the Cattails. I heard she hates alcohol. Occasionally, Master Dillick, the owner of the winery, will come, will cover my shift. Days off are precious after all, so I'm very thankful for him for that. What will it be today? About Storm Terror. It's been quite a headache for sure. Storm Terror affected our tavern supplies routes, so a variety of wines here has also dropped. As for Storm Terror itself, I'm not too worried. I think those people who numb themselves with alcohol are just scared out of their wits. But we do reach the point of no return when we just need to wait for the night to fall. The knight who emerges at night will not just stand idly by. Here on the mainland, we have to offer little club juice first. Oh, I could buy that. I like that. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Shut up! It's a reviving thing. Oh my god! Buy it. Buy it. Just buy one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What will it be today? Oh no, it's not for me. Thanks anyway. Really? Shouldn't have drank too much anyway, I guess. Uh, he's a bard. Let's see. Hey, amiga. You have a good pair of eyes. Choosing to stop here in front of me. Do you want to hear the latest uh, composition? I put a whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about Amiga? Have you seen anyone that looks like a lot of me? Someone that looks a lot like you? Is it a relative of yours? Oh. Then may I ask if the person that is fond of wine? If they're out for a drink, a monastat would be the place. And if it's the monastat I know, they surely stop by the angel share. I keep tabs on everyone I see in the angel share. I'm always keeping an eye out for a potential audience, you know. But if the fellow you're looking for doesn't like to drink, then I'm afraid I, uh, I don't have any clue for you. Will you I, no, I'm going to try. Um, who are you? They call me the Six Finger Jose. It's okay. I am beloved bard of Modestat, or should I say, used to be beloved. Sing for me, Jose, por favor. Oh, you want to hear me highlight a song? I caught it old in the morning breeze. I just need to tune my interest. Oh no. I'm sorry. I have no audience to play for so for so long that now my strings are a little I'll sing for you next time <laughs> are there many bards in Monastat? are you kidding me amigo? Monastat is known all over for its songs from the pastures but lately a mysterious bard appeared in this place I checked all over but I can't find out anything about him. Since he came here, my audience has slowly disappeared. I consider a battle of the bards. But I think 
Even I would be seduced by his beautiful voice. How does one become a bard? Hmm? Well, I became one by trial and error and desire to become famous. Uh, I mean, a desire to bring enjoyment to everyone. Yes, that's why I became a bard. <laughs> why don't you give this book a read first? Maybe you might be able to figure it out yourself. Hey, I'm doing some venture training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? You seem to have had one too many. Really? Let me see. Eight beers, five wines, seven ciders. Not so much. I'm no match for the legendary monostat adventurers who can drink half a cider lake worth of wine. Only a figure's reach, really. No wonder. I could never figure out how they could afford so much wine on adventure income. An adventurer's income, that is. What kind of liquor do you prefer? Me? Beer. I don't like it that much, though. It's just that beggars can't be choosers. As long as it gets me drunk, it's all good. Don't you agree? <sighs> Where's that kid Bennett run off to? I hope he didn't run into any trouble. I need to learn to handle my booze better. Bruce. Hi. Are you here to try Monastan's famous wine too? About Storm Terror. If you ask me, I don't think it's anything serious. The Archon War makes Storm Terror look like a child's play. If you think about it, there have been a lot of casualties at all. Haven't been a lot of casualties at all. In any case, we have uh, our reliable colleagues and our eminent acting Grand Master. This issue will be solved very soon. Monastant will be in any great won't be in any great danger. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> I was talking to you, dude. Let's go. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, looking for a missing young male has blonde hair, wears exotic clothes. Any information that assists, slash assistance? Greatly welcomed. Please report to the Outrider Amber with any information you have. Many thanks. Okay, so that's yeah, that's about her brother. This would be so much better with the chilies added. I wonder if I should say something. What are you doing? Oh, hello. You're visiting here too? I'm Xier from Chiu Rock in Liu. Liu. My job is eating. Wait, no. There's a word for it. Gourmet? Gourmet? I'm a professional gourmet. Food critic. <laughs> in Monastat specialty, to try the food. Mostly because I heard that Chief Xingli Yi Listen, I'm just gonna call him Ling. I cannot pronounce 
Chinese names. I'm sorry. I just, I can't do it. From Wanman. It's Wanman. It's a woman restaurant. Wanman restaurant. <laughs> Get some of her ingredients from here. I like. There's a focus on fresh quality produce. But in terms of presentation and seasoning, I gotta say, Liu is a cut above, regardless of whether you're talking about Li or Yu cuisine. Surely you're exaggerating. Exaggerating? I'm just saying the plain old truth. I am a native of Liu. But as a gourmet, I am nothing if not fair and impartial. It's just as well that I made some black back perch stew this morning. Have a taste. You should be able to tell the difference right away. Oh yeah, I got me some free food. Reading. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Li cuisine. Yep. One of the two big culinary traditions in Liu. Li style cooking is about rich, indulgent dishes packed with flavor. It uses a lot of ingredients from up on in the mountains. The place you should go try is Liu Li. Li Lily uh Bolivian <laughs> in Liu Harbor. They had the best Li trained chefs working for them. Yu cuisine. One of the two major culinary traditions in Li Yu, the other being Li. Yu style cooking puts emphasis on the lighter, brighter flavors. It's heavily seafood based, so if that's your thing, you have to try it. If you do want to try it, the most authentic Li Yu style cooking is the Zio. Cuisine in Liu. Only thing is, for both the Liu, Liu, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what it's fucking pronounced. Okay, the Liu kiosk and the Luli Pavilion. You have to book about half a year in advance. Damn. Okay. Alright, so where is your place? It's on the other side over here, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Cattails, huh? What do I feel like is that place there? Get down.
Can't go in for whatever reason, but okay. Alright, let's see what we have before I have to go. We could do maybe one more mission. duck. You ain't kidding, girl. Alright, let's go and do this one. So we're gonna travel here. Teleport. And we're just gonna make our way over there. It's this way. Yeah, directly that way. Oh, boy. Listen, I'm dead serious. Y'all, help me find some games to play with y'all. So that way we have some variety on this channel and where y'all can actually be a part of it. Okay. Some amazing rock climbing skills, I just gotta say. It's so pretty! Alright, here it is. Let's go for it. And then there's a thing right over there, so we'll go get that too. not moan like that. That's all I'm asking. Just don't. Just don't be making them sounds, lady.
stone unturned. Get down. Don't push your luck. Okay, so... Cut it here. I am tired. I gotta get ready for work tomorrow. Oh, that was fun though. That was fun. I'm sorry if it got pretty boring in some spots. Very some of y'all, you know, 
it's what it is. It's Genshin. It's it's a lot of back and forth and fighting and other shit. Like I try to keep it as entertaining as I possibly can, but you know, it's what it is. Um, but yeah. I'm hoping next time you see me, I'm hoping, um, I just gotta, you know, stick with the guns on this. I just haven't had the energy to do it, um, but I, I need to do it. Uh, my model, you, the one you see right now, this is the Christmas version of her, at least. This is the Christmas version, uh, clothing-wise. <laughs> Some people will be like, hey, what's with the handlers? The handlers aren't Christmas and blah, blah, blah. What are the Christmas lights? Okay, listen, I like the Christmas lights. Thank you. I think they're cute. I, I like lights. Eventually, I would like to get them to where they actually fucking, like, change color and shit. But I don't know how to fucking do that. Um, especially with working with VTuber Maker and shit like that, you know. It's difficult, alright? If I worked with, like, Unreal Engine or something like that, it'd probably be a little different of a story. But it, it's not. It's not. But no. Uh, this, is, this is her face, her head. This is how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Alright. To give you a little idea of what my model is. She is an alien. She comes from a different planet. Alright. It looks human but has features that are not quite human. Not quite. Well, that's okay. Regarded it as some humans call a demon. Not a demon. Some people call it Wendigo. Not a Wendigo. Just an alien. I'm just an alien. I come from a different planet than yours. Alright. It's okay. <laughs> I've heard it all. Alright. Like, like, why do you, why do you think I have a fucking, I can't even zoom in it. <laughs> yes, I can. Why do you think I have a galaxy in my eye? See that? You pretty, pretty eyes. <laughs> I have a galaxy in my eye. Alright, I'm an alien. I come from space. I will give you a backstory. My backstory. When I'm comfortable enough to give it to you. Okay? It's a work in progress. It's a long story, but we're trying to make it short. All right. Eventually, I would kind of like to do like an animated kind of thing with it, but eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Anyway. So hopefully you'll see my somewhat normal version. I won't have my jacket on. My jacket's been a pain in my ass to try to get on my model. But it is what it is. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, please, for the love of God. It is a fucking anarchy. It's a war. Alright. Please stay safe out there in this fucking insane planet world whatever the hell you want to call it walking hell all right living hell <laughs> all right please be careful out there there are some crazy fucking people out there i love you all i want to see y'all safe um but anyway i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day or night, or evening, wherever you may be in this world. I am your host, Galaxy, and I am signing off. I will see y'all later. Not today. You've got too much on your plate to worry about what to put on it next.
Hyundai Kona versus Honda HRV. Look what Kona has and what HRV doesn't. Hyundai Kona wins every time. So I thought this girl was working out like crazy, but she wasn't. I met her yesterday at the gym and I asked her, how do you look so great? Dang girl, you have such a nice body. I feel like I'm here all the time and I'm not seeing any results. Do you have any tips? Let me tell you what took my results to the next level. This is what five pounds of fat looks like. If we want to lose this or more, check this out. Thinking about starting to run on the treadmill again, I need to drop my belly fat. Yeah, no, that's total BS. I think I'm going to start cutting carbs. Also, total BS. What am I supposed to do then? Rubbing citric acid on the stomach for a six pack? Not gonna burn fat. Dr. Drew and my wife Susan here, we wanna show you something. You've probably seen this guy all over your feed claiming that cutting carbs isn't necessary for weight loss. One of the biggest fitness myths is when people say carbs make you fat. Carbs don't make you fat. I'm a big donut guy. No need for long hours on the treadmill either. If you think that I spend three hours in the gym every single day and all I do is regular steady state cardio all the time, you're wrong. Now I know it sounds too good to be true, but let me tell you, there's more to this than meets the eye. The science of weight loss was cracked a long time time ago. It's not a trend, it's facts. Following all those like trendy fad diets, all those trending workouts that you see online is literally a waste of time. There's already a proven research backed way to lose weight and keep it off. I decided to delve into this topic and do some research. Turns out this guy is a celebrity trainer who's gained a massive following for challenging mainstream advice. He claims that what we've been told about weight loss is wrong, completely wrong. I've witnessed thousands of clients on B-Shred transform their lives and achieve their best shapes ever ever by dedicated, say, 20 minutes a day to three simple practices. And you know what? It makes a lot of sense when you listen to what he has to say. Cardio burns fat, right? No, cardio actually burns calories, usually in the form of carbs in the bloodstream that are then replaced with the very next meal that you do eat and stored as more fat. And this is why even when you eat low calorie foods or you run for an hour a day, you get softer, but you don't actually lose any weight. And this is one of the biggest reasons why most weight loss attempts fail within the first three weeks. The truth is that Hollywood's elite actors and actresses, they can get super ripped because they followed a long ignored technique that was used for generations of bodybuilders and athletes before steroids steroids were even popular. So what's their approach? Well, they ruthlessly cut through the fluff because they have zero time to waste because their next film role is starting in just a few weeks. And so they can't waste time on the wrong program. Cut out carbs, sugar, it was just not sustainable. Boom, I gained it back so fast. This time I feel like I've done it the healthy way. I've lost 30 pounds, just do it, just do it. You won't regret it. You're gonna see it too. You're gonna be like, dang, I look good. For a while, I just completely cut out carbs and I realized that was a mistake. After I gave the carbs back, I dropped another 30 pounds. You will never have to be on the treadmill again. I wanna say slowly the weight started coming off, but it came off faster than I thought it would. All these foods that you don't think that you ever get to eat when following a diet, I'm eating them and I'm in the best shape of my life. Carbs actually regulate your metabolism. Carbs are one of the best ways to give your body energy. If you cycle your carbs properly, you eat more carbs than you've probably ever eaten on a diet and you get far better results than you've probably ever gotten. What is the best workout to lose weight? The best way to burn fat and get in shape, it's not keto, paleo, fasting, or vegan, and it's not super intense workout. That ain't how you lose weight. I already did all the hard work to simplify all that information into a very simple and easy to follow plan that literally anybody can do. This is our body type quiz. That's a free quiz. It's six different questions. Is Legit this? 20 seconds. You could do it. Seriously? Yeah, you could do it right now. And then at the end of it, it tells you what your body type is, but it also tells you the three most important things to do based on what your body type is. And it's completely free. Yeah, click the link if anybody's watching this, want to figure out your body type, and I'll show you how to get in shape. You can hit that link below and take the quiz. We won't ask for your email or anything like that. Click the link below this video right now, take my free body type quiz, and get your personalized plan right now.